At the end of each month, I go over in full transparency how well my automated trading systems are performing. Do they make money or do they lose money? In today's video, we're gonna be going over April, 2023. It was one of my best months ever, so happy to share how my trading systems did and what sort of volatility we saw in the market. Before we get started, hi, my name is Jacob Amaral. I build and code automated trading systems and trade with my own money to hopefully make a return for my portfolio. And I like to share ideas and how to build cool trading systems. If you wanna work with me, see the links in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so April, 2023, a fantastic month uh, return wise. I cannot complain. Let's go over the performance. So here I have my Ninja Trader uh, account statement or web page, if you will. And let's go to performance. Let's select last month, which was April, so April 1st to April 30th, and hit go. All right, so you can see we had an amazing month. Uh, total PL after commissions was $107,104. That's about a 28% return uh, for me. So very, very awesome month, the biggest percentage and dollar month uh, I've ever made in a single month. And let's go over some of the stats and then I'll talk about why we did so well. So we had 282 total trades, traded over a thousand contracts. I trade futures, so that's mostly e-mini contracts. There is some micros in there as well. We had a 50% win rate. So each trade we had a 56% chance of making money. And we had a $387 expectancy. That means for every trade on average, I made $387. And we paid just over $2,000 in commissions. We can see some of the charts here. Uh, presented by NinjaTrader, once again, they acquired Trade of Ape a couple months ago, and they were able to kind of integrate all of their uh, p l charts. So I like this a lot. But you can see right here, it was a lot of the profits were at the end of the month. We were profitable mid-month, uh, up around 30 k uh, but the end of the month, we had a massive day, and that was most of our profits for the month. And that's what trading is. It's very, very unevenly distributed. You're going to do really well when there's a lot of volatility, but it doesn't happen often. And you'll have long periods of being flat or in a drawdown. And you kind of have to be able to stomach through those long periods of drawdowns and have these massive winning days. At least that's how my strategies do well. There are some strategies that maybe be more consistent, but my strategies do well in volatility and we need massive price movement days intraday uh, to see that. So you can see most of my gains, uh, almost pretty much all of the gains were at the end of the month, and um, that happens sometimes. So fantastic month, can't complain. How, why did we do well? So let's look at April. Uh, right, April started about here, yeah, here. And you can see that, you know, and this is the S&P 500 index. You know, net-net, S&P hasn't moved much, moved much sorry since the start of april but we've had a lot of days where we had you know big point moves you know we're talking 50 60 point moves in the day and as you guys know a lot of my systems now trade intraday and i thrive on these big movements up or down because my systems make money uh, long or short right so as long as we have these big you know movement days they do do very very well and we had a lot of them right if you kind of counted them up it's more than half the days where we reversed a lot, where you can see these wicks here, where maybe we made new highs, but then it, you know, at the close, it kind of reversed back. I don't do as well. Those are harder to predict and harder to make money. In fact, those days, it's usually better to either sit out or make one or two trades in that day and then not trade for the rest of the day. But I don't have a system that does well in that environment, at least yet. So you can see for April, we had a lot of those uh, big movement days. And the day where I made most of my money was the 27th. Uh, we had, or S&P did, what is that? 70 points, 60, 70 points that day on the upside. And it was a, a fantastic day. I also did really well on the 25th, which was a big short day. And um, a lot of my systems are trend following. So they'll follow the trend, they'll follow the, the um, current open versus the previous close. And if it continues, they, they do pretty well. They bet in that direction a lot. So. Fantastic month, like, like I said, about a 30% return, I think technically, uh, you know, 28.9%. So a very high percentage return for one month. And don't focus on the amount of dollars I'm making, focus on the percentage, because that's what matters. That's what's something you can relate to as you build your account up. But yeah, that's that's my month. We're doing fantastic year to date. Maybe I'll do like maybe a, a quarter one 
return video that will include because you, you can watch my January, February, March, April videos, but it might be better to summarize it in, in one video. But I cannot complain. Uh, fantastic month, one of my best months ever. And I'm going to keep building new trading systems. I've made quite a bit of changes to the portfolio. I've removed some systems, added new systems. And if you didn't know already, every Friday, or I wouldn't say every Friday, but at least twice or three times a month, we build strategies together. We code them together at Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern for all course members. So if you want to join us, see the link in the description below to join my course. And we actually build strategies together. And I talk about what makes good strategies and bad strategies. So that's the video. I hope you found value in this. Let me know in the comments below if you did. And feel free to ask me any questions when it comes to automated trading and algo trading. Have a good week and see ya. Bye.